Hey guys, RTT back here for the video guys. Today, we're going to be talking about something that I got recently. The Apple Card. Now, let me go ahead and explain my initial opinion of the Apple Cards. How I feel about the Apple Card now after having it for a week now. And what do I, rec do I recommend getting it? Yes or no? Well, first off, let's talk about the Apple Card. Because when you first get the Apple Card, it's kind of confusing. And I got kind of confused at first. Now, this is like my second ever credit card. So, I don't usually use credit cards. I normally use debit cards or I pay with cash. So, this is the like first time I'm actually, you know, getting into like the credit card realm. And I was kind of confused in all honesty. So, once you sign up and you apply for the Apple Card, what you will see is that they will send you a titanium card in the mail. Now, once you go ahead and sign up, though, that's when you can start using Apple Pay and getting your 1, 2, and 3% back. Now, the reason why I signed up personally was because of the 1, 2, and 3% back. It's literally the best thing you can get. I mean, there is so many other promotions out there that is better than this one, but the conveniency and the system they have set up for Apple, where you just click on wallet and it shows you exactly what you spent, all the money you're getting back, all that kind of good stuff. I like it so much better with the Apple card. Like I have a, uh, I have a, a, what's called a debit card. I mean, a credit card with American express. I like it better for the Apple card. So when you first get it and you set it up, you, it's going to kind of confuse you. So your first payment is not due until the end of the following month. So for example, I got my card and I think it was, um, March 23rd and yesterday or the other day i was like oh my god i gotta pay the payment i gotta pay the bill and it said that my payment well first of all i didn't end up paying it but so my payment was due april 30th because again it's the following end of the billing cycle month because i think it's because i got my card uh at the end of the month now i looked up videos and everyone it seems like they have that same concept where they get it in august their billing cycle ends at the uh, end of the month for september so the end of september now after that of course it is monthly you pay monthly on a billing cycle uh what i have set up is you can schedule payments so for example you can schedule to have every single month you actually you know pay your whole entire bill for yourself so for example in settings you set up like okay the end of the month i want to pay the whole entire balance that i have for the whole entire month and it just does it automatically it's nice it's simple it's easy uh there isn't much hassle at all now if you do want to pay it yourself you can click on payments you click on uh pay my bill and you can go ahead and choose exactly how much you want to pay within seconds it's simple it's easy it's literally the best interface like the one thing i'll say about ios is ios is a great interface it's a great system how they have everything set up and i love that about this and it's just honestly the best in my opinion it separates exactly what you pay your money for so if you pay for transportation food and services or whatever the case it automatically separates it so you have kind of like a track log of exactly what you uh, used it for and also if you do have an apple watch uh i actually have two because i actually just bought this one uh if you have an apple watch you can use apple pay on it or use your phone it's so simple and easy guys when I say it's so simple and easy, I mean so simple and easy. Uh, I'm not really in the credit card world, and I picked it up, lickety split, and I figured stuff out. So, let's talk about the rewards. So, first off, 3% back, you get back on any Apple product from Apple.com. So, if you buy anything from Apple.com, you get 3% back automatically without any hesitation at all. If you buy anything through Apple Pay, you get 2% back. And if you buy anything with a titanium card, you get 1% back. So, again, not every single place accepts Apple Pay. The place I work with does accept Apple Pay. So, it's pretty nice. I just put my watch, put it at the little screen screen bam that's two percent back right there if i do use a card like at burger king or mcdonald's it is a one percent back now how this works because i was kind of confused when i first got the card is that okay so let's say for example in a single night you charge a hundred dollars on the card and let's say it's all one percent back you're getting used to the titanium card the whole entire time you're going to get back obviously one dollar one percent of that hundred dollars you're going to get back um, let me make sure I'm doing actually the math correctly there. I believe I'm doing the math correctly, right? 0 0.01, 0 0.01, 0 0.01, 0 0.01, 0 0.01, 0 0.01, 0 0.01, 0 0.01, 0 0.01, 0 0.01, 0 0.01,
yeah, one dollar back, right? Now you do not get it back that day. Now it does say at the end of the day you get your money. That is actually not true. You get it once the pending charge went through. So for example, I, you know, the uh, a night and a half ago, I went ahead and charged nine dollars to a, on a Burger King purchase at Burger King. Well, my uh, pending charge has not gone through yet, and it's a day and a half later, so I don't get the ninety cents until, or sorry, the uh, nine cents until that goes through. So once it goes through, you get the money, but you might have to wait a day or so. Some charges they go through within a couple hours. Some charges they go in through in a couple days, or some take a day or two. So it all depends. So if you purchase let's say for example you know three thousand dollars worth of stuff and depending on your credit limit you might be able to um you might not get the thirty dollars money back until the charge goes through and that might take you three days for the charge to go through it just depends on how fast they are and the company you the, you bought it from is how fast they are with going through transactions so again it all depends on where you're going and what you're doing it with but again it is depending on that so you might not get your money back right away you might get your money back right away so it's all a kind of a small simple process process now do i recommend the apple card for somebody who is just getting a credit card my answer is yes, if you have an iPhone. And obviously, you have to have an iPhone to get it and use it. But if you have an iPhone, honestly, yeah. It's very simple, easy. You kind of see exactly how much you need to pay for your bill. You have no issue at all with that. And as long as you pay your bill, you no issue at all. I mean, the APR is anywhere from 13% up to 23%. So depending on what that one ends up being, you could be charged a lot of money. So as long as you pay your bill and you're smart with, uh, you know, when the bill does come up paying it, there's no reason not to, in my opinion. The cash back, even though it is small, is definitely worth it. And if you use the card enough, it's definitely going to work out very, very well for you. Another thing is if, for example, you do use, you know, you buy Apple Music or you use Apple Music. If you charge your card for Apple Music, you get 2% back. So every single month, if you spend $6.99, you're going to get 6 cents back every single month from your Apple Music. I know it's not a lot, but listen, is that six cents you wouldn't have before? Yes, exactly. So in the end, it all works out. Another really cool feature is you can transfer the cash you get back straight to your bank account, or you can just use it to pay off your balance. So if you, you know, for example, have $30 you got back, you can pay off your balance and now you technically maybe had like a 1% off whatever you bought. So I, I like it. I like it. I think it's really cool, guys. I love the card. Personally speaking, I would recommend it if you are looking for a new credit card. Tell me down below, guys, thoughts and opinions, though, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.